Hello, I'm Jim Holland, Chair of the Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors. The Chesterfield Health District is comprised of the counties of Chesterfield and Powhatan and the City of Colonial Heights. Chesterfield County government is limited, but as of January 27th, the Governor's Office has released a letter indicating that he has a full-time government liaison to assist localities regarding vaccination efforts and information. As a result of our letter, the Governor has indicated that he welcomes local efforts in a number of areas, staff, supplies, equipment, and logistics. We know the number of individuals who want to receive the vaccine at this time far exceeds the number of doses the county is being given. There continues to be a limited amount of vaccine available nationwide, and supply continues to be a challenge. Chesterfield County Government is committed to working with and assisting as it can the Chesterfield Health District in getting the vaccine to as many people as possible based on the VDH eligibility requirements. Please be patient as the Chesterfield Health District works through the priority phases of eligible individuals and know that Chesterfield County Government stands ready to assist as we can. We are committed to working together to make a difference in the lives of our citizens. Hello, I'm Mayor Greg Kachuba from the City of Colonial Heights with an update on COVID-19 vaccinations. Virginia's primary distribution of the vaccine is allocated by the Virginia Department of Health to local health districts like Chesterfield. The City of Colonial Heights is part of the Chesterfield Health District. Unfortunately, we do not have the authority to make decisions on vaccine availability or the number of doses distributed to the public. That is strictly state driven. While the rollout of the vaccine has begun, COVID-19 continues to heavily impact our communities. We know residents are concerned, scared, and worried about the lack of vaccine available. In fact, we have seniors in their 80s driving to North Carolina to get vaccinated, teachers who are afraid to get back into the classroom, police officers that still need to be vaccinated. We will continue to urge our governor and state leaders to work as quickly as possible in getting the vaccine rolled out to our community. Clearly, changes need to be made to their distribution formula. In the meantime, as a reminder, please continue to practice good health and safety measures, such as wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands frequently. Together as a community, we will get through this difficult time. Thank you and be safe. I'm Karen Carmack, Chair of the Board of Supervisors for Powhatan County. Powhatan County is currently waiting and ready to distribute as many vaccinations as possible, and we've been ready for months. Unfortunately, Virginia ranks 49th in the United States for vaccination distribution, and out of the vaccinations that we have received, we have only administered 45% of those. Information and answers have been hard to come by. Bottom line, state leadership has effectively failed to operationalize the vaccination effort for all Virginians. We are here to help, let us know what we can do, and let's work together to figure this out.